Hey guys, Jay here with Wordo Advice TV. In my comment sections on a lot of my AC repair videos and furnace repair videos, I explain to people how to jumper their thermostat or bypass it. So if you think your thermostat is bad and that's the thing that's causing your cooling or heating not to work, you can bypass it to see if that's the case. So the first thing you want to do is go down to your furnace and turn off the furnace power switch. It almost looks like a light switch. Shut that off so it's not sending any 24 volts up here. And then you come back up here and you take your thermostat off the wall. Most thermostats you will be able to take off the wall. Sometimes you have to take off some cover or there will be two screws that you have to take off. Mine, I mean if you look around them, most of the time there will be some clips and you can see them if you look around. Mine has two clips on the bottom and I know that. And if I pull it from the bottom, it just comes right off. And then there's two anchors on top too that hold it. Once you have your thermostat off the wall, you will have the base remaining and you will see your thermostat wires. These wires actually go from your thermostat all the way down to your furnace into the control board or a fan relay. And before I show you how to jumper it or bypass it, just briefly, I'll explain what these wires mean. Um, a lot of times it'll be these colors, but not always. So the green wire will typically go to G and G stands for fan. The blue or brown wire typically will go to C, which is common. The yellow wire usually goes to Y, which is cooling. R, which is typically red, goes to R, which is power. And if you have RC or RH, you want to have a jumper between R and RC and R and RH. Because R means power and RC means power for cooling. So if you don't have any power going to cooling, then your AC won't be turning on. And then there's W, which is usually a white wire. W means heat or heating. And just so you know, the way it works is the furnace control board or fan relay sends 24 volts up to your thermostat and when, when your thermostat is calling for cooling or heating or for fan, the thermostat closes a micro switch which is internal and sends power back down to the control board which then tells the control board to turn something on. So really we can also do this bypassing or jumpering at the control board as well. Now I know I told you to turn the furnace power switch off, but for this test you would want to turn it back on just for a little bit just to check if you have voltage going to your thermostat. So the first thing that I like to verify is that the thermostat actually has power from the furnace. And to verify that you'll need a meter like this with leads. And then if you measure, if you put one lead on the R screw and another lead on your C screw, which is common, you should get, with my setting set to voltage, you should get anywhere from 24 to 30 volts. And when we say 24 volts, it's usually a range between 24 and 30. So if you see a reading that's like this one, 28 for example, don't be alarmed. As long as it's not below 20 and it's between the range of 24 and 30, that's good. That means you have 24 volts or power going up to the thermostat. In the field, when I jumper things like this, I would usually use a magnetic jumper like this one that has little magnetic ends on it which works very slick. As you can see, for example, my screws right here, see how they're really small? This little magnetic jumper fits right into it. So I can put it into R like that. And it just sticks to it. And then I can jumper whichever one of these I want. Or I can use alligator jumpers. Sometimes the screws that hold the wires are bigger. I just have a mini alligator jumper. So I just crimp onto one of the screws and crimp onto another one. But you most likely don't have these, so what you could use, I've used this sometimes before too, is take a piece of wire, this right here is a piece of thermostat wire, I just cut a piece off and you strip both ends off and you get yourself a little jumper. Now if you don't have any wire laying around, you could also just use a paper clip, it'll work just as well. I'm trying to keep this as uncomplicated as possible, but basically the thermostat is a bunch of switches that are automatic, so it has a fan switch, a cooling switch, and a heat switch. So in the summer, when the temperature gets too high, that switch automatically flips up and it turns on the AC. In the winter, same deal with the heating. And for the fan, if you set the fan setting to on, that'll flip that switch on as well. So basically what we're doing with a jumper is manually turning on those switches. So if you're using some kind of a jumper wire, like I have right here, you would put one of the ends on R, which is power, and then put the other end on whatever you're trying to jumper. So for example, if I put it on Y, that will turn on my air conditioner. So if your thermostat is defective and you put your jumper between R and Y and turn that furnace switch back on, your AC will turn on. If nothing happens, then you know that your thermostat is not the problem. 
Now, if you wanted to jumper, let's say it's furnace season, if you wanted to jumper to heating, all you would do is the same thing. You would hook one end up to R and the other end to W, which is heating. And for the fan, you would jumper R to G. Now, if you don't have a jumper wire like that, you could use a homemade one like this, like I showed you previously, and all you would do is loosen up these screws, whichever ones you're jumpering, stick this jumper in there and tighten those screws back up and flip the furnace switch back on. Well guys, and that is how you bypass your thermostat. I hope you understood that. I thought that was gonna be very simple, but once I started explaining it, I kind of started scratching my head. So if you didn't quite get it, just ask me in the comments below and I'll try to explain it better down there. Well guys, and that is all I had for you. I'm hoping this will help you fix your own AC or your furnace, save you a bunch of money, stay cool, stay safe, and we'll see you next time.